Good evening. A former manager of Celtic Boys Club, Frank Kearney, has been found guilty on nine charges of sexually abusing young footballers. Kearney, who's 83, has been placed on the sex offenders register. He was granted bail until his sentence next month. The sheriff, Daniel Kelly QC, praised the courage of Kearney's victims, who'd brought these matters to public scrutiny. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Reval Alderson, reports. Frank Kearney, who's 83, had worn an earpiece throughout the seven-day trial. As he left the court, he made no comment about the verdict. He'll return next month to be sentenced. The verdicts have been welcomed by one of the victims of Kearney, the manager here on the right. He just cast me aside. When I asked him to stop it, I was crying, and it seemed to me he enjoyed it, and I was cast aside. He just smirked. I think it was appalling. Back then, at that age, where I came from in Glasgow, I didn't know what a paedophile was. I didn't even know what the word was. But I now know that's what it was, and it's my opinion that Frank Kearney is a paedophile. This victim, now 59, says training with Kearney took place at Celtic's ground and training facility, but no abuse happened there. And he now says he's glad that Kearney has been convicted. I feel that for the future of children in football, that people like Frank Kearney should be convicted so that nothing similar that happened to myself would happen to any other person put up against people in positions of authority and the power that he had. Frank Kearney, who former players said had the power to make or break their young careers, is the latest figure connected to Celtic Boys Club to be convicted of sexual offences. The most high profile was last month, Jim Torbert, who was jailed for six years for historical sexual offences against young footballers. Reval Alderson reporting Scotland, Hamilton Sheriff Court.